Everyone? Good, nice, good. Okay, I hope I hope is uh, yeah everyone had good lunch, but not good too good until you fall asleep in the next sessions. Um, well, my name is S J, and uh, I'll present this session together with Maneka, and uh, both of us are actually developers, and uh, but we come from different background. We'll share more uh, what it is, right? Or how different. And we previously had a chat and thought that it would be interesting to share tips for uh, beginner Drupal developers. Uh, from the point of view of two uh, two people with a different background, and that was the reason. Uh, that was when the this uh, I, the idea of this session were, was born. It is um, is I think is quite common knowledge that uh, yeah uh, some of you may have seen this comic right that uh, we know that Drupal development uh, sometimes is really not so straightforward, and you see in this comic that. Uh, the skill progression of the other framework platforms is like kind of increased gradually, but for Drupal, you can see that yeah, it's the skill progression is like it's very steep, and then it turns back, and people start to commit suicide here, and but after that, then it's flat, right? So we hope that this session will help um, uh, some of the beginner Drupal developers here to smoothen the ride, yeah. So let's start with uh, a little bit about uh, my journey so far. I've been a developer uh, professionally um, uh, for the past seven years. Although I've been coding for these past seven years, I didn't really have a formal, uh, formal training. Yeah, I started with uh, local programming when I was 12 years old or uh, younger. Then I taught myself a uh, basic and, <laughs> and I challenged myself to code Mastermind in basic, right? This is not really my 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 quote here, but uh, it looked something similar last time. I still remember. I think I did it with the uh, VGA, the very first VGA that came up. Yeah. Then I dabbled with my first open source uh, about 13 years ago, OS Commerce. And the past seven years, I've been working really uh, with Drupal. Yeah. So you see that I really didn't have a formal training. It's really just a passion, love of uh, learning, and love of uh, solving problems that drive me on. Well, let's hear what uh, Manaka has. Thank you, SG. Good afternoon, everyone. And unlike SG, I'm pro I do have a computer science background, and I'm working for SGX as a Drupal developer. Basically, I'm a full stack developer and an AWS certified professional. And what attracts me in Drupal? I do have, uh, before started working on Drupal, I have a various experience. I have an experience with various products, I mean CMS products, but there are few features which attract on me the most. And I have listed few here. The most important, the first and foremost thing is the community. Drupal has a wide range of community with around 630,000 members in the community and uh, quite a large number of contributors who is actively contributing uh, for the community in various ways. And then extensibility. Whether the module or the themes is easily extendable in Drupal. And then scalability. From small size, uh, small size site to the complex site, Drupal is, uh, in the performance wise, it's really good. Recently in the Grammy.com, uh, during the awards, there were a million number of uh, users, uh, the visitors of the site, without uh, any performance issue that has been recently awarded, I think. And then security. Uh, even it has been statistically proven that um, Drupal is uh, one of the best um, open source uh, software uh, out of all the um, uh, softwares in the security. And then challenges and tips to the newbies. So of course, uh, many of the newcomers would have faced some challenges. I have listed my challenges here. Uh, initially, when I started coding in Drupal, I really don't know how to ch choose the right modules and themes. There are plenty of modules available uh, out there uh, for my requirements. So uh, to choose the right module, first thing we have to look at the core compatibility. The module which we are looking for should be, um, the, uh, should be compatible with the version of our course, uh, uh, code uh, software. And then maintenance status. Drupal should be actively maintained. I mean, the module which we are looking for should be actively maintained. And the number of users who's uh, um, using the Drupal, sorry, the number of users who are using the module. And we have to look for the reviews as well. 
and then don't ever try to hack the drupal core if you do so it's really hard to save and uh, the other no man is an island of course we do face some issues um, during the initial stage so if you don't have any, an account with drupal dot or it's really hard for you because there are quite a number of people who is out there to help you with your issues. So please do create an account with Drupal.org. And there is one best way to learning a technology. This will be applicable for all the technologies is referring an existing code. Whoever, maybe your colleagues or the friends. So they have written some codes, right? So you always try to refer a code. That is the easiest way to learn the technology. Refer to the forum. Refer to the... Um, issue queues and then try to join the local community group and attend the events as soon as possible and set a target you try to set a target like book for the certification and work for it achieve it that is the easiest way to learn any technology thank you all right so we try to compile a list of resources uh, to help you um, uh, progress uh, easily uh, when you're starting Drupal, right? Uh, we divide into three different groups of resources. The first one is documentations. Uh, Drupal.org probably is one of the best uh, open source documentation available out there. Um, and we listed here three pages that um, uh, should be useful to you. Uh, module development and uh, learning, understanding uh, Drupal coding standards and learning how to write uh, secure coding. Oh, by the way, all these uh, slides will be made available to you, right? And uh, the recording will be provided as well. So don't worry about the taking picture or, yeah. Um, and the second set of resources is tutorials. Um, I'm sure some of us have watched the tutorial videos from Drupalize Me. And uh, as mentioned, we have three annual subscription for Drupalize Me uh, as Lucky Draw. Uh, please drop your name card uh, later. and. Um, as Drupal 8 is uh, built on top of Symfony, uh, I found that there is a very good uh, online tutorial uh, talking about Symfony and also touching a little bit on D8, uh, which is provided by KN KNP University. And of course, Acquia has your own uh, training uh, platform as well, right? And uh, it is free uh, for, for, for the beginner's topic. Um, and I know this. Uh, uh, Michael Anello, uh, personally, I talked to him some time back, and uh, Michael Anello is running uh, something like an eight-week program on how to code, how to uh, build module of, um, in Drupal, and you can visit uh, his website, Drupal Easy. Another one that's quite famous as well is Build My Module by uh, Chris Shattuck. And of course, the last one is, at the end of the day, yeah, Drupal is written by PHP in, on top of PHP, right? So learning how modern PHP uh, programming, uh, so uh, is, uh, you can visit uh, PHP the right way. Okay. Uh, the third set of resources is newsletter. I subscribe to these two newsletter, Drupal newsletter and uh, Hacker News. Uh, right now, the, the two newsletter are actually the same, uh, weekly drop or the Drupal Asso Association newsletter. And you can subscribe to either one of them, it's fine. Now, uh, as you progress right, from beginner to become intermediate uh, developers, you, you, you may actually realize that, yeah, what's, what's next then, right? Rising tide leaves all boats, right? So uh, I encourage you to attend local and overseas meetups or camps or conferences. And when your skill progress further, actually you don't need to have a, a, like a intermediate skills yet before you can start uh, presenting, right? Because there is there is the saying that you never really learn something until you teach it, right? So uh, it is inherent in our human nature to become better, and when we become better, we provide real positive values to our employers as well as to our clients. And sometimes, what some of you need is probably just a nudge. So today, I'm giving you, I'm helping you to give that nudge, right? After the camp today or even at the tea break session later, please find the local uh, meetup uh, group. It can be Drupal, PHP, uh, anything, right? And uh, other language, other framework, please join in. Uh, look for it in meetup.com, look for it in Facebook, right? And uh, show up in the next meetup, okay? Uh, Drupal Singapore has our own uh, meetup group. You can, you can try to find us, uh, look for Drupal SG, okay? And uh, I'd like to end our session with three easy steps to get started. 
is really just practice, 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 and get your hands dirty. First step, set up your local development environment. Uh, nowadays, there are really a plethora of uh, uh, ways to install your local development environment. You can try Docker with Lando. Uh, personally, I use Mac OS with Homebrew, which I'm going to talk about in the BOF session after this. Uh, and then for Windows, probably Linux VM. Anyone else has any idea for Windows? Yeah, right, can share with me later. Uh, second step is get uh, IDE or good text editor. Um, PHP Storm, pretty much like probably one of the best out there. Um, and personally, I'm using uh, Sublime Text uh, with the package control is pretty pretty good, right? Another option is Atom. Or you can always use Vim, right? <laughs> uh, and the third step is just start building something meaningful to you, right? Like, for example, you want to build uh, home automation. Uh, later, uh, Mark, Mark going to talk about it. There's uh, his demo set. Or you can do something like uh, uh, tracking uh, statistics of, about your life. Mark Coaster actually uh, delivered this presentation in um, our meetup uh, sometime back. So yeah, just that, three easy steps. That's all. Thank you.